What you're going to see here is what I consider a masterpiece. Some of my best work yet. I search the country for the most unique van build-outs and present them to you, my viewers. Chuck is about to share an exceptional build, a luxury build-out if you will. He spent over three hours configuring this to his needs. He has coffee cups and recycled containers that in case there were a zombie apocalypse, he wouldn't need to go to the store for dishes for days. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a treat. Chuck? Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, uh, we uh, saw your van here, thought it uh, looked pretty cool, and we'd like to have a look on the inside. There we go, we can do an inside look at it, but the warning is, it's a mess, okay. I've had this vehicle for two and a half weeks, Basically, I, you I just have, got this. I just bought this. Oh. two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Um, so I had to leave the island to come to a job here. Okay. So it was last minute. I bought it. I had two days to move here, and the first day it broke down. Oh man, Are you <laughs> it serious? wouldn't start. Yeah, it wouldn't start. Well, the alternator. The alternator went. So I had to change the alternator. So I lost the day, and basically I just grabbed everything I had, threw it in there, and I haven't organized it since. The factory mold. <laughs> Sorry, not mold. What do you call this crap? Moss. Moss, Moss yeah. Hey Chuck, what uh, year and make is this? It's uh, a 77 Dodge. By the way, my, my battery died on my phone, so I'm, using, oh. I'm bumming off your flash. So see? Good. Yeah, we're, that's why I can't see. Wait, when I said I threw <laughs> things in Dark. and ran, that's oh what I mean. Oh my god! Yeah. So yeah, like I say, the bed, I haven't quite that is finished off yet. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do the memory foam on top of that other thing. Think that's gonna be enough? Um, I'm it's not nice sure. It's on Broadway, yet. man. It's so yeah. comfortable. Get the good foam. Um, I upgraded because I wanted the room. You wanted the headroom. I wanted the headroom. Oh. I wanted to walk. It, I just, I, I, yeah, I found I got cramped up too much. Um, and I, I wanted the extended length and table and countertop. Okay. For me, that was priceless. Yeah. I, that is really nice. Uh, um, this is actually the guy built a battery box. Oh, neat. Oh, my God. <laughs> how embarrassing. <laughs> falling out here. Well, well at least it's right butane now. bottles, not beer bottles. Uh, and coffee cups. <laughs> I lose it. Half your van just fell out, man. <laughs> oh, no. So are you going to be able to open this door with this stuff here? It, it should, I put the, the thing there? I don't know. We'll find out. Well, here's a hot tip for your yeah. viewers, Bayward. There you go. Yeah, you Do can. not put great stuff internally in your door, the spray on foam, because yeah. now he, this guy can't open his lock. Oh, like, yeah. Like literally frozen shut. That actually kind of happened to me a little bit too. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, you got to be careful. Yep. Automatic. It runs really, really good. It has 57,000 miles original. Okay. Um, wow, that's really so low it's for got the year. Really low mileage. The body's all original. Well, except for, I think somebody's done a repair there. Okay. Because the future of the body is seen as showing. Mm. Or it could be a factory, I don't know. It seems to be overall fairly good condition. I wish it was daylight. Yeah. I see it more. Well, let's. Can you take us on the inside and give us a quick tour? I can tour? take you on the inside. I am, I'll, I'll do the, a little bit on the outside. It does have uh, its own propane system. Nice. It, Old it, style, look at that. But, Woo. yeah, like I said, it doesn't even have the newer connections. Yeah, it's old school, baby. I'm not using the propane until I get it inspected. New tank, new everything. So I, I'm using a small Coleman butane stove. Uh, it has a furnace. The guy says it works. I'm not using the furnace. <laughs> or I'm not using the, the fridge. So. Okay. Anything to do with propane until that's fixed. Right? Yeah, until I get it checked out. Um, I have a spare battery. Here's. Oh, cool. This is a spare that's battery. That's your battery? No, I have a second battery inside. So you have three batteries. So I've got three batteries Whoa. at this point. You're rolling, bro. The house battery I could probably hook up two six volts and have 12 volt and extra, and then that would actually be four batteries on there. Chuck, if you find any uh, high quality items, <laughs> do share. Actually, I got one. This is my uh, air compressor. I wonder if Justin about. Incredible is aware that they're using his name just in case. Just in case. Just in case of emergency. Actually, yeah. this thing works really great for. Is that uh, the $15 deal? Yep. Oh, I, I think I to... paid 15 bucks and for that's it. that's from uh, Canadian Tire? Yep. I apologize, but 
All I did no, was throw footage. things in and ran. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you're in the process of building now. But cool, man. once we get it up and rolling, we're making that thing. Yeah, there you go. Party. We have a party on my bus. Previous owner had built some storage. So what he did, he had a generator in here. Okay. But oh, that's now, smart. Yeah. Right now, like, there's nothing in there. This one is empty. I don't know whether to keep this one or not. It's pretty huge yeah. and overhangs, but it is extra storage. So yeah. I'm undecided on what. Yeah, you could. That. You could put a generator in there. This one I, I would like to keep, I think, because what it's would you put in there? perfect for... <laughs> oh, no, we lost <laughs> This is just pure comic gold. Thanks, guys, for watching this video all the way through. If you know of any top-tier van dwellers that have a caliber of van build like this and they'd like to be interviewed, get in touch with me. You've got a friend in Bayward. This has been a Bayward production, 2017. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to be my friend, please read the description. Shall we play a game? You've got a friend in Bayward.